If you've been doing virtual meetings or live broadcasts for a while now, and you're starting to get frustrated with the quality of the audio that you get from your inbuilt microphone on your laptop or your PC, or perhaps even the restrictions you're gonna get from a set of wired headset and microphone like that, it might be time for you to upgrade to a set of lapel microphones. But the trouble is, how do you get these guys to work with your virtual meetings, your live broadcasts, using a laptop or your PC? It's not as straightforward as you think, so in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and how you do it, and we're gonna get started right now. In the last video, I demonstrated on how to connect a DSLR camera or GoPro as your main capture device for your virtual meetings or your live broadcasts. If you didn't see that video, be sure to click on the link above and go and check that out. It shows you what cables you're going to need and all the settings you're going to need in Zoom to make all that happen. As a result of that video, however, I did get a great question in from one of my subscribers called Michelle Gumber. Michelle asked, do you require a lapel microphone if using a GoPro? I'm interested in seeing that setup also as opposed to the Canon ca camera setup. So Michelle, that's a great question and thanks for asking. So as a result of that, I actually went out and did quite a bit of research. I bought some cables which were wrong and I got quite frustrated because it wasn't as straightforward as I thought. The thing is, lapel microphones, they come with these 3.5 millimeter jack and typically they come with like a three ring jack. That's not gonna be good enough. So we need a way to convert the three ring into a four ring and then take that and put it into a USB. It is fair to say though, however, at this point, if you are using a GoPro, you can get one of these from GoPro, which will allow you to attach an external microphone. But the reviews I read weren't great, and it's also fair to say if you're not actually using a GoPro, perhaps you're using the, lap, uh, the webcam on your laptop or your PC, and you're happy with that, you just really want to enhance the audio and introduce a lapel microphone, then this setup I'm about to show you is gonna work for you great. These cables are also a little cheaper as well than the GoPro uh, brand itself as well. So the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need to convert the three ring, into, which is known by the way as a TRS, and we need to convert that into a TRRS. And to do that, it's this little cable here. And by the way, I will provide links to these cables in the description below, so be sure to check those out. And we plug in the three ring into the receiving end of my lapel microphone here into that little port there. So now we've got a four ring here, but that still won't work if you plug it into the little port I found into the laptop. I was just scratching my head, I just thought, why doesn't it work? Well, what we have to do is actually convert that signal into USB. So it requires another cable, which converts this four ring, goes into there, into USB. So then we have something that looks like this. So it's coming from the receiver of the lapel mic into this TRS to TRRS converter, which then goes into this, converts into USB. And we plug that into the USB port. Okay, so I've just started the Zoom meeting. I've pressed record so that we record the different audio qualities from, first of all, the GoPro, as if you're just using the GoPro inbuilt microphone. Then we're gonna to go to the inbuilt microphone on the laptop and we're gonna finish up with the microphone using a lapel mic. So I'm gonna walk around the room and demonstrate. This is now with the GoPro microphone only. So I'm gonna walk around the room here and this is the quality that you're gonna get. So testing one, two, three. This is using the GoPro microphone inbuilt. Okay, so how does that sound? Okay, so that's the GoPro setup. So we're now gonna do the microphone inbuilt on the laptop. So again, same demonstration, I'm gonna walk around. This is the inbuilt microphone on the laptop. I've got a pretty good microphone on this laptop. I'm quite happy with it, but of course, I'm in a pretty small room here as well. Uh, if I needed to go further away, then it might start struggling. But this is the inbuilt microphone on the laptop. Next, we're going to set this up now, the lapel microphone. I've already shown you how to connect it all, so I'm going to now plug it into the USB port, like that. And we need to make sure that Zoom or whatever meeting platform you're using or live broadcast you're meeting is now reading through this USB port. So let's do that now. All right, so this is the lapel mic setup. 
I've got the uh, transmitter in my pocket. I'm gonna walk around now the room. And my room here isn't too big, but of course, if I had a large stage I was doing a virtual meeting on, then you know it's gonna make a lot of difference having a lapel mic like this. So I'm gonna walk out the room here as well, walk into the next room. So this is in the other room now. So I'm probably about 20 feet away from the laptop right now using this lapel microphone. And how does that sound? I'm back in the room again. And that's the lapel microphone setup. So I hope you found this video useful and you can see now that bringing in a set of lapel microphones is really gonna enhance the user and your viewer's experience especially if you're demonstrating or training over a large area, perhaps in a large room. But also, if there are more than one of you hosting your meeting, you may want to hook up, in fact, not may, you will want to hook up everybody that's hosting into the lapel mic of their own, which will all come back through to this receiver here and into the live meeting and out to your audience. So the lapel microphones, not only are they going to give you a bigger area to walk around, but it will also allow you to bring in multiple hosts, uh, presenters, and all at the same level of audio. So it's a really good option for you to consider. Also, I'll leave a little uh, link for these guys here, which cost around about $250 for a set of three, and I found them to be pretty good quality. So be sure to check those out as well. If you found this video useful, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ask any questions or leave any comments or advice that you have in the description below. It's always appreciated and I answer every email that I receive. So I appreciate you watching. And until the next time, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye now.